I think I and other people that are working on this would feel like pioneers in the field of time travel. So convinced is God that time travel will one day be possible, he'd volunteer himself as a guinea pig. I guess it'd be worth the risk. <laughs> God is one of the few physicists in the world who claims to have found a solution to voyaging back in time. He figured that the secret to building a man-made time machine was to take inspiration from the universe and then copy it. One place to look for a naturally occurring time machine would be in the, in the center of a rapidly rotating black hole. What intrigues Gott is how the rotating black hole warps space-time around it. Gott is a professor of astrophysics here at Princeton University. He searched the universe to find anything that could warp space-time as much as a rotating black hole. What he found led him to make a bold and ambitious hypothesis, which is based on something that is still theoretical. It's called a cosmic string. Cosmic strings are thin threads of energy that are left over after the Big Bang. Despite being no wider than an atom, cosmic strings have colossal density. A string just one meter long would exert more gravity than the Earth. Immense gravity warps space-time. With his eye on time travel, that means one thing for Richard Gott. I found out that uh, because of the warping that the strings do in space-time, that if two strings, infinite strings, were passing each other at high speed like this, uh, you could use them to make a time machine. The fast-moving strings warp space-time as they pass, so that they bend it down into a wedge shape. Normally, a spaceship would have to take the longer route across space-time. But the time traveler can now take the shortcut. By outrunning a light beam, he can travel back in time. If this car were a huge spaceship, and God could find two cosmic strings, he could return before he departs. The space-time around the two moving cosmic strings is so twisted that God can circle the strings and come back before he sets off. Here's how. Cosmic strings bend space-time and provide a shortcut. By journeying around the strings, God travels faster than light does across normal space-time. You can't build a rocket that goes faster than the speed of light, but with curved space-time, you can take a shortcut and beat the light beam and theoretically make a time machine in principle. The path of time is no longer linear. Instead, it forms something like a circle. There is, however, a small hitch. Cosmic strings are not only purely hypothetical, they're also elusive. We wouldn't expect you to be so lucky as to find two infinite cosmic strings passing each other at the speed required to make a time machine. God navigates this strings problem with a hypothetical alternative. cosmic loops. They too may sound far-fetched, but the skeptics could find no fault in God's theory. Well, it certainly created a hubbub because uh, 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 many skeptical people might wonder whether you could actually do such a thing, but here was an exact solution of Einstein's field equations that allowed time travel into the past. Richard God's time machine does, however, have a weak link. He discovered that at the very moment he warps space-time enough to form a circle, the whole region would fall inside a black hole. And that's not good, <laughs> because a black hole, well, that's a hotel where you check in, but you don't check out. So it looks like the, the time travel region would be trapped inside a rotating black hole. 
even if the prospect of being crushed out of existence doesn't deter the time traveler, God's time machine has another limitation. The string loop solution, if you wanted to go back in the past a year, it would take a mass of about half the mass of our galaxy. You'd have to manipulate a mass that large. So you'd have to be one of these galactic civilizations that had the energy resources of the entire galaxy at your command. So this is well above the current NASA budget. <laughs> It appears that a cosmic string time machine is a project for the future. Timescale, however, does not deter the time travel enthusiast. And God's theories encourage others to search the universe for naturally occurring time machines. In fact, as soon as physicists began to view space-time as a terrain, they started to search for ways to leap across or tunnel through it. The best way to travel in time is to use some sort of shortcut between two points in space. On Earth, we're familiar with bridges and tunnels that create shortcuts. We need to do something like that in space, and then we could turn it into a time machine. Professor Paul Davis has analysed all current theories of time travel. He's convinced that the strongest theoretical structure is something called a wormhole. Gravity warps the space-time fabric, and those interested in time travel claim that if this warping is enough, the fabric can bend back on itself. The wormhole is a connection between two regions of curved four-dimensional space-time. It has two mouths, and a throat. So the time traveller could travel through the wormhole faster than it would take for light to travel across space-time. Imagine that this sheet of paper here is part of space. We know space can be curved and we can imagine it being curved right around like this so it can connect up with itself in two different ways. The long way around like that and the shortcut through the tunnel that connects the two ends of the paper here. In fact, the architecture of the wormhole has a logic we are already familiar with today. This is a great example of a wormhole. You could go down in the elevator, across the street, and up in the elevator the other side, or you could take the shortcut through the bridge. That's exactly the same with a wormhole in space. Like many in the time travel fraternity, Davis isn't deterred by the fact that scientists have yet to find a wormhole. When I was a student, people talked about black holes, but nobody knew if they were really out there. Now we know black holes are for real. Well, we also talked about wormholes decades ago. Are they out there too? And it's this that scientists in Europe hope to find out. Geneva, Switzerland is home to CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. According to the scientists who work here, a new epoch of physics is about to begin. This is the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Buried deep under the ground of Geneva, this 27-kilometer tubular ring will smash atoms together at close to the speed of light to recreate the conditions immediately after the Big Bang. When the subatomic particles smash together, they will produce tiny fireballs of primordial energy. Scientists hope this might shine a light on what the universe was like at its birth and illuminate elusive subjects such as dark matter, extra dimensions, and maybe even wormholes. It's a very long shot, but we hope to be able to investigate whether we can actually create little black holes and uh, little wormholes and little time loops. Today, engineers lower one of the last pieces into place. The world waits with bated breath to see what this accelerator might reveal. We're going to a land that has never been explored, and we might find these things if we're lucky. 
Teams of scientists from all over the world will analyze the data from the accelerator and perhaps reveal, once and for all, whether wormholes can graduate from fantasy to reality. Some time travel enthusiasts believe that time travel to the past will be achieved not by us, but by a super advanced civilization. People with galactic power at their fingertips. One American scientist, however, is convinced he has the answer to traveling back in time, and he's got the evidence to prove it.